Welcome to Useful Tools for Web Development Video Series. In this series, I'll share with you tools that are very useful for web development. In this first video, we'll look at a tool called Can I Use? In web development, one of the common questions that we often get is, is this HTML attribute supported by all browsers? Or is this CSS selector supported by all browsers? One of the quick and fastest ways to check for browser compatibility is by using a website called caniuse.com. For example, I am developing a simple web page with a button on it. Notice the button background color at the moment is red. Now what we want to do is when I mouse over this button, we want to change the background color to green and on mouse out, it should be red again. Here is the HTML. Notice the ID of the button is my button and here we are using the ID selector. The initial background color is red and the font color is white. Now what we want to do is on mouse over, we want to change the background color to green. The easiest way to achieve this is by using the CSS selector hover. So let's make a copy of these styles. Use the hover CSS selector. On hover, we want to change the background color to green. And we still want the font color to remain white. So let's remove the color property from here. Save our changes and take a quick look at the browser. Notice on mouse over the color is green and on mouse out it is red. So at this point, everything seems to be working fine. But I am not very sure if the CSS selector hover is supported by all browsers. One way to verify this is by manually testing this page across all browsers. This is very tedious and time consuming. So the quick and easy way is by using this website caniuse.com. We simply type our selector, in our case it's hover, and as we scroll down, notice it is supported by all browsers. The legend is right here at the bottom. Green is supported, red is not supported. Now let's look at another example. Let's say on this web page I have a text box and I want to enforce validation on it. We don't want to allow end users to type anything beyond 10 characters maximum. So I plan on using max length validation attribute. But I'm not very sure if this validation attribute is supported by all browsers. So again, the quick and easy way to verify if an HTML attribute is supported by all browsers is by using this website, caniuse.com. So I want to check if max length is supported by all browsers. Notice as we scroll down, we see it is supported by all the browsers. Hope you'll find this tool useful. If you have come across any other useful tools for web development, please let everyone know about them by leaving a comment on this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.